Greetings, viewers at home. Apostle David Malatze here. Um, check your time. The time is family all the time. And how I'm so humble and also, you know, um, I'm mesmerized by you giving me this opportunity to be part and parcel of your family. Remember that the, the, an altar, it is the place where humanity meets divinity and and one of the, our best motto about this program is that we are not here making name for ourselves really we, we are it is never about us and and we are putting everything here on the altar for the sake of his name so today it is one of those days where we're looking deeper into our lives and the families at large and we are going to touch one of the best topics ever hiv and the family. This is one of the topics that is highly ostracized from our pulpits. Not only pulpits, but and the family at large, because there is this stigma that hangs around this topic. And I thank God that today I'm not alone. Um, I'm here with one of the best guests ever that is going, you know, to take us, you know, through this journey and an unpack what HIV is all about. But before Kennedy Tabing, hi ma'am, can you introduce yourself to our viewers and tell them who you are? And then I know, I know you are from, uh, you know, UK, but just, just try it. <laughs> Over to you. I'm purely, purely South African. Amen. And um, I feel greatly honored that you decided to invite me to the family altar. Amen. My name is Sipati Masokwani from the Rang Foundation. And uh, I am greatly honored to share the knowledge that I have on HIV and AIDS and how our families can assist in removing that stigma and also in helping the infected because once you have somebody infected that you know it makes you the affected so i am happy to have this journey with you amen now now viewers at home um the bible in the book of romans chapter number six verse number 12 it is a well-known verse it says for we are not wrestling with flesh and blood contending only with physical opponents but but against the despotisms against the powers against against the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness against the spirit forces of wickedness in heavenly supernatural spheres now this only means to say that the enemy that we fight is spiritual and, and it, it takes a spiritual warfare to deal with certain things. Many other times we are, we, are, we are being misled by fighting one another. When the enemy start attacking our, our family members, then we ostracize them from families. And, and, and I'm glad that today we are going to touch this you know, subject and by the grace of God, the Lord is going to help you. Now, Mercy Party, tell us what is HIV? I am so happy that you actually introduced this topic the way you did. Um, by including family and the enemy fighting you. Yes. Because HIV is an enemy that fights the body. Oh. And if the family is fighting your body, it is actually helping HIV to conquer. Jesus Christ. Now HIV, I'm going to explain it to you the way I explain it when I, when I teach um, counselors and nurses because I always say to them um, when you explain HIV you should explain it whether to an educated person or whoever but when a time comes that you explain what it is you need to explain it in layman's terms. Jesus. So I'm going to say, yes, ma'am. HIV huh. is an acronym, I guess, standing for Human Immune uh, Deficiency Virus. Meaning, uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unpack this acronym. 
H is human. Mm -hmm. I stands for your immunity. Human as in mood. Okay. So meaning or it is not for animals, no. but ilwana le mood. My God. Mm. Um, kimutu, immunity meaning your your defense system. Uh, and the virus meaning muhari. Ne? Now, HIV is a virus that attacks the immune system of a human being. Kimuhari, all one's hang, sole, Now, when I have said this, you need to understand her. when you have HIV, you are not HIV. That is why you can't say mutuke HIV. Sipati mm. ki HIV. It's one of the things that, that I want us to, to try and remove from our community. Right there, right, right there. There is, there is, there is, there is this serious stigma now the way we need to really unpack that part where you are saying if one is is infected with the virus that that is not that that does yeah it does not define meaning when you start defining that person kabutata bahai utusa sera se humulwans agere hariri hariri ntate malatsiki Unali unali sukir har bua kai ne har det malat ki ki sukir sukir oh yeah now yeah now now let's go to AIDS ne which is an uh, the acronym AMS um, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome okay now we we explain the the acronym. Mm. Acquired is something that you get. Okay. Ne? To acquire something. You acquire a degree, you acquire, you know, yeah. something that you from, get uh, for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. Yeah. yeah. From virus to you are, yeah, hey. yeah. So it's acquired mm. immunodeficiency, meaning immunodeficiency, yes. yes. your yes. defense yes. system. Yes. Uh, deficiency meaning shortage. Hoshotelwa is something. Kore um, a deficiency of sugar gamuntum, a huna tsuki ria shota, you know, you didn't sing yet. And syndrome is a group of diseases occurring together in your body at the same time. Sure, sure. That is the meaning of syndrome. Kore, 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 rekara, kanori. Uh, hey. now, exactly, exactly. Now I'm going to show you AIDS. And I'm hoping that after I explain this AIDS to you and to the viewers at home, you will then come to understand the difference between HIV and AIDS. What's that to Mamela, eh. One is, so if you was at home, call, call the neighbors, call your cousins, call the church members, whoever that you know, that today the topic is all about HIV, the family, and the church. Stay tuned, God bless you.